welcome back guys, Jordan here. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep moving forward, trying to give a, try to promote goodness and godliness here and evilness to Trajan and hopefully we can curate a split between good and evil in our kingdom and hopefully, but uh, first we need to grow a bigger kingdom in order to split, you know, because I mean we've got some good land here and we've got some good tributes, but I really want to at least get this, if not, I mean if, if quickly. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, what's the next dukedom we can take? We can take this one. See, that's what I want, is I want claim on the kingdom of Italy. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to fabricate claim on the kingdom of Italy. Try to get it in one fail swoop. And then revoke, imprison, and terrorize all the vassals in that region. But I could piece by piece take it. Um, like we said before, we're going to try to grow the lands of Galness over here so that when I pass it off to him, he has a. I did say it. Are we coming to a truce with? Yes, we have Venice and the Byzantine Empire fueling our evil escapades. give all of his lands a vacuum so that he can uh... here he is now so I want to educate him myself to hopefully promote kindness and I, if he gets cool trade or anything I think I'm gonna override the system and uh... give him the kind trait um, We'll make him rough. I'm okay with that. It helps give him a better marshal. City taxation. More gold, more gold. Next, I want to keep boosting this.
So let's go get more gold then. Um, our usual harassment of the King of Italy. Now one thing to mention too is that popes or demigods are not immortal. They uh, they do have considerably higher life or health than humans. So the pope, as much as it's not, he's not a an actual god. He's a half god. He still may live to be over a hundred years old. So he may be pope for a while, which is could open up some interesting dynamics once we uh, really our daughter we're gonna have the goddess of love I'm gonna educate her myself also we have become a raider I think Yes, that's right. We remove the cruel trade from him. I don't want him to be like us. There might be, all of a sudden, a little bit of light is shining in Cassius. He, he feels drawn to the idea of light. He had a conversation with his Pope brother. So he, he's still extremely evil, but that light manifested itself in his son, Gallianus, and hopefully we'll be able to, uh, if not, I'll most likely manually override it. Here's our son, Trajan. He is quite cruel. Although he is my favorite son. Hopefully my wife can give us another daughter. Sixty-three. My son's at forty. Go take some people from the Holy Roman Emperor. King of France.
Calumus will be brave. Hopefully we can create a family tree of good and evil gods to where once we conquer this region it can start splitting and there's dynamic um, I've been able to do it several times on my own plays but I'm hoping to achieve that in this let's play and I might promote it to uh, speed it up I don't know to make sure that uh, you don't have a too much of a lull. I think stealing from the surrounding uh, Christians, taking land from them as we see fit, forcing people to be tributes. Send them back. I'm going to cheat right now, and here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to re-impregnate my wife, um, and here's why I'm going to do it, is I want, ideally, another female to give to Gallinus, try to make her good as well, so we can get that split we're looking for. Um, to divide the kingdom that we're growing between good and evil gods. Well, what do we have here? It's like some war going on between vassals. Oh, really? She's pregnant? I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> Funny. We need fifty five hundred gold to get a large I cannot help you. I'm sorry. You guys handle your own your own stuff over there. Yes, she can be cruel because she is marrying our cruel son. Let's hope that she actually gives birth to a daughter for us, another daughter, and not another son, because that could prove to be interesting. He has taken the title of the dukedom. If you could be gregarious. Now, about our courtier, Albinus. Our dark angel, he has come of age. We could definitely grant him something. I may 
conquer some land for him right now. We'll give him... Ferrara, or you could take Sicily, although it would go to there. Now let's give him Ferrara. Must, must become honest. Ah, oh, another son. It's fine. Try to get another daughter. I just impregnated her again. Cheating bastard. Fighting Duke Savro of Susa. He is dead. We will win this war. We will win this war. Hey, what just happened? I just missed it real quick.
He's betrothed to his own daughter. What a sicko. He has a lot of demigod children. This would be kind of... There we are. Galeria. You would be betrothed to your brother. Galenus. Just humble and shy. You would be just as the king of the good gods. Oh, poop. What am I doing? I've been raiding this whole time. I haven't been taking over. What? Oh, what a ridiculous. I was curious what was happening. I just wasn't paying attention. I... There we go. Looks more boot like now. A black evil boot. Stop raiding my towns, you silly Nordsmen. Meanwhile, in the north. The Nordsmen cannot handle themselves. become ambitious. What I may do is when I make him a good god, since he will have two dukedoms, Um, is grant him independence in hopes that he will create the kingdom of the good gods.
<laughs> My brother took over Venice. Took Venice from them. My brother. Oh, what a. What a funny guy. My brother. What's left of Venice is off on the shore now. Excellent. More taxes. More taxes. I've assembled a great council. Fall in love. Try to become family focused. You can be released from prison for gold. And we're at 5,500. Great. There's a large vacuum of darkness in Rome. There's a lot of wealth being generated. There's about 4,000 angels. Our brother's not quite as strong as us. His heir decimus. is a false bloodline of demigods. It will be done of June. Okay. Supply. Stay here, there's a better supply there. Yeah, he hates his life, he's depressed. Now that we've begun to be depressed, we can commit suicide if we want to. So once maybe we get it set up to the way we want to, we cannot. Uh, So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the part here, guys. We just got depressed. There's an opportunity for us to just kill ourselves, which may, uh, if we set it up right, could split what we have into gods-on-god war and 
and less just dominance on the petty humans. We can always just go and dominate when we want to and raid and generate wealth from the surrounding areas. But I want to build this adversary with maybe this other brother just uh, caught in the middle of deciding who he will fight for. Pelusianus. Alright, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, go ahead and uh, tune to the next part.